U.S. troops have begun constructing a temporary pier off the coast of Gaza to deliver humanitarian aid to Palestinians living in the enclave. This just days after Gazan militants fired mortar shells toward the construction site. Mm. President Biden announced plans for the maritime pier during his State of the Union address back in March, as United Nations officials had warned that famine in Gaza was almost inevitable and that life is draining out of Gaza at terrifying speed. The Pentagon made clear more than 1,000 U.S. troops would help construct the pier at sea. However, they would accomplish this feat without putting U.S. boots on the ground. The goal is to fill ships with aid in Cyprus. The ships will traverse waters to the pier in Gaza, which will be attached to a temporary causeway. The humanitarian aid will then be loaded onto trucks and make their way into Gaza. Israel agreed to provide security and logistical support for U.S. troops during construction, which proved to be needed this week as Pentagon officials confirmed mortar shells were fired toward the marshalling yard area Wednesday, which will eventually become the delivery site the pier will support. The attack happened while U.N. officials were touring the site with IDF troops. Uh, and it's important also to highlight that this occurred before any U.S. forces uh, you know, have started moving anything. Uh, there'll be no U.S. forces on the ground. Uh, and, and as I understand it, in terms of, uh, you know, there, there is no U.S. equipment per se in this marshalling yard. No injuries were reported in the attack and the peer project timeline currently remains on track. Hamas militants told the Associated Press it would reject the presence of any non-Palestinians in Gaza. Many aid workers helping with humanitarian efforts have also voiced concerns about working in Gaza after seven aid workers with World Central Kitchen were killed in an Israeli airstrike. Officials with the Pentagon said the pier will help to deliver two million meals per day for the residents of Gaza. Israel says it will prevent any aid from getting into the hands of Hamas terrorists. It should be become operational by May.